Hello and welcome to Art and Highland Isolation Part 5. I thought it would be nice to concentrate on some of the contemporary artists the gallery carries and today we're throwing a light on a young English artist called Daisy Sims Hilditch. I first came across her work about two years ago and was very struck by the spontaneity and versatility and, of her work and her love of, art, of uh, light and shade. She, uh, as well as being a prodigious plein air artist, she's a highly accomplished portrait painter having studied four years sight-sized portraiture at the Charles Cecil Studios in Florence. Uh, she's won a number of awards in her burgeoning career, the latest of which was the Gordon Halston Memorial Prize at the Royal Society of British Artists in um, February 2020, and that was for draftsmanship, variety and exploration, presented by none other than Will Gompertz of the BBC. That's enough for me. I'll just pass you over to Daisy now, who will talk uh, on her beloved St. Moore's coastline in Cornwall. Hello. I'm down in Cornwall, and it's a lovely day today. I've been painting on the beach. Um, this beach has a lot of uh, meaning to me because I've been coming here since I was a child. So um, I first started painting even here, I think, when I was quite young, one of my first plein air painting spots. So it's fun to return to it and um, see my paintings develop over the years. Um, when I saw these lovely clouds that we had earlier, unfortunately they've all gone now, but earlier we had these wonderful big puffy clouds and I really enjoy capturing that effect especially when the sun is um, in front of me because we get these lovely contra jour light sort of highlights around the clouds. Um, the palette is very limited. I try to do this because I find especially when painting contra jour it's more about the tonal values so you don't want to get bogged down with trying to mix all these different colours when actually it's more about the gradation of light to dark and keeping a simple palette helps that. So here I have um, blue black, burnt umber, burnt sienna, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue. This is a turquoise that I didn't actually use but I do love it in other things. Cadmium red, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow and there was a naples yellow which i absolutely love i use it a lot and white which i get through a lot of as well i love the little fisherman coming home from work he was out there on one of those fishing boats and i just thought that would be a nice touch to bring it slightly more to life because obviously there aren't any sailing boats out at the moment and there usually are a lot i chose um to have a sort of quarter horizon because of these clouds and I wanted to capture the sky more than I did the sea. Obviously I love the sparkling light on the water but this painting was more about the sky than it was the sea. Um, and I find this uh, composition quite attractive for capturing big skies. I'm very lucky to be exhibiting with the McEwen Gallery in Scotland and I'm really looking forward to going up there to do some landscape painting later on in the year, hopefully. Um, I've never actually painted that far north, up in Valletta. Um, mainly I've painted in Perthshire, so it'll be a real adventure and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you for that, Daisy, and we look forward to welcoming you to North Britain, as the Victorian artists used to call it, when circumstances allow. Meantime, this is the work we carry of daisies in the gallery at the moment. This is a small painting uh, of Port en Bessin in Normandy that Daisy did a couple of years ago. We have above a red and tory in Venice with the lovely light and shade and the dapples on the, on the water that uh, Daisy so likes to produce. Then we have Lambeth Bridge, part of Daisy's London Bridge series. Moving over we have Buckingham Palace from St. James's Park and another small plein air oil porter en Bessin again. Then we have the a larger one of the lagoon in Venice. Um, lovely frames that Daisy uses, London frames. And then we have porter en Bessin again. Um, nice seascape. And then we have Daisy at home, which is a still life, slightly larger oil. Lilies and Chinese lanterns, and then moving over, I mentioned 
Moving over to the other side of the gallery, her portraits. We have a self-portrait of Daisy from a couple of years ago. So that's it from me. Many thanks for watching and look forward to catching you next time. Thank you.